first, I wanna scream about this in, in the review portal. Okay, let's review the episode. <sighs> it's over here, yeah. <laughs> Why isn't the dog yawning for? Like, I, I am, I, 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 I am almost quitting the anime. <laughs> no, I'm like, like, why is the dog yawning for? Why is it, why are they leaving the dog here for? I don't understand. Like, he was like, the dog was like Rudo's new bestie, right? Come on, it's a dog, man's best friend. Like, who doesn't want to have the giant dog with you? He's an Isekai main character. If I was teleported to another world, right? And I'm gonna reborn and I'm gonna be a hero and never stuff, right? And I'm badass and all that. Who's gonna pick up a cute doggy? I, I don't understand. They left the dog there. I don't know. I don't understand. Obviously, I was into my my uh, JRPG adventure game. I was like, you know, you need to pick up the cute girl. You need to have the, you know, the again, you need to have the dog. I said it to the reason for it. Like, you need to have the the animal. So, seven imagine bleach, right? Imagine bleach. I'm bleach poster here, right there. Uh, imagine bleach. You have obviously you read, you know, <laughs> the wife. Yeah, they have the bonus wife. But you know, you have like you know, Urihime, kind of the class girl. You know, you have uh, Shad, the big muscular friend. You know, the the bigger friend, uh, and so on. Right? And of course, you have the talking calf, right? Like you, you need to have. That animal. Look at Dragon Ball, right? You have Goku, and a lot of anime guys, but you have Goku, right? And you have Yamcha, and then you get Pool, of course. And you get Oolong, and then you, know, you keep going, and you know, you also have, you need to have that like weird animal in your party. Come on. Uh, look at One Piece. You have, of course, Shopper. Spoilers, people. <laughs> One Piece, I'm just spoil spoilers. Shows. I, feel it's, I feel it's fair talking about these other shows that have been going for 10 years, right? Um, but yeah, I am I am incredibly surprised that they didn't take the dog with them. Honestly, you, you saw like a general narration of this is a very typical, uh, how say it? The, the general premise of the anime, right? It's the classic Japanese role playing game, right? I always say that, but you know it's very very true for isekai. So they're, they're very following that like Final Fantasy, Breath of Fire, and and th those kind of like uh, games, right? Uh, Sukuden. Uh, and so on, right? And uh, which I, I, I collect JF games, right? So I have like 400 JF games, whatever. Uh, something like that. I, I've lost count. I don't even know how many JRPG games I own. I basically own all of them. <laughs> so I, I, I've lost count, right? I can't even stack them anymore. I have to like, stack them around me. That's why I always have so many games next to me, right? Because I have to like stack them all, all over the place. I have like stacks of games all over the place. Uh, and uh, I have I have like a room that is basically only games, right? I have a room with like just a thousand thousand games. I don't know because I have you know like all fighter games and so on too, right? And I have arcade sticks and every console and whatever, right? So yeah, I can't even uh, I don't even have space for it. <laughs> I don't have space for it. Uh, but anyway, so I am honestly incredibly surprised. I I, I even mean that I am very very surprised. That the dog did not join. <laughs> it might sound like I don't know what I, I really mean, right? Because, but come on, he's a, he's a cute pet thing. I get every every fantasy you, you pick up the pet, right? You pick up the pet thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I was like, I, I actually do enlist basically every year you when you pick up a pet, right? But it's like ninety percent of the time if it's a fantasy, of course. Not not that you play something like uh, I don't know, uh, enter like a dragon with Yakuza. Yeah, okay, you're playing like in. in on human place, right? So you can pick up an animal, but um, you either pick up an animal like that, or you pick up something like in Better Fire, or you pick up the the plant guy, right? Like a living on onion guy, so he, he can't talk. He only do like sound effects, right? So you pick up some living plant thing, but it's like a tiny plant guy, he can grow big and strong. Actually, I love the in Better Fire because he's basically a tiny little plant guy, and then when he so he walks around, he's like a tiny little plant. And then when he fights, he turns into like a gigantic, you know, muscular plant guy when he, <laughs> when he punches. So he kind of like Chopper actually in One Piece, yeah, he kind of goes like a muscular form when he has to punch him, right? But it's very kawaii when he's just walking around in the game world, right? Um, but he can't talk or so on. So, yeah, I don't know, if I'm, yeah, why didn't they pick up the dog for? Why, why did he leave the, 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 the man's best friend here? And the dog could fight too. We saw the dog could fight. We saw the dog had... It avoided a blade attack. Maybe they pick up the dog later. <laughs> I just like the dog could fight too. Like it was really presented that the dog was like an uh, intelligent dog with you know basic abilities to avoid and so on. And it had like it was more than like just like a random animal. It had like intelligence or right? they had skills. 
Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I guess the dog can get bigger. They can, they can pick up the dog later and it's even bigger or something. <laughs> but, uh, but isn't that the point, though? You pick up the puppy and then, you know, you do you, you level it up, right? And then it gets even bigger, right? Like, if you ever played... Um, and this is gonna be a spoiler, but I don't... Whatever. Um, I say the game, Exona Gears. Um, I said, yeah, I wanna say, guys, the sequel, yeah, Exona Gears. You have this like rabbit or whatever it is. It's, it's something like a rabbit. It's something. It's, it's something like a rabbit. Let's just let's just you know call it a rabbit, okay? So you pick up this like pink rabbit in that game, and it, it's it's pretty like it's like a party member. It is like a rabbit with some animal attacks, and it can talk as well, I think. But it, but it, it doesn't do much. It's not a very good character, honestly. But later on in the game, so this is the spoiler that I'm showing, guess, okay? This is like a twenty-year-old game. Uh, so in Exodus so later on in this in this game, you also find the mechas. It's a fantasy game, but you also got mechas, you know, so you have your mecha pilot, yeah, so on. Uh, you get the heaven in the game, or it's more hell, but it's actually heaven, because it reversed it, so you get the heaven, it's called heaven. Uh, you go to heaven, and then in heaven, they are like, well, we can make everyone stronger by removing a limit on your DNA, because the evil guys that are controlling the planet, they have inserted DNA, like, they have ruined humans' DNA, right, so actually, by fixing your DNA, you're all gonna get like stronger, right? So you get, you get twice in power, so one. Okay, so everyone in your party gets like twice in power. Okay, so you know you get like stronger, right? But this bunny character, it becomes big as a mecha. <laughs> so instead of you're like, yeah, I love this. So they have this bunny, right? It's like this big, right? It's like a little bunny. But if you remove the DNA thing from the bunny, the blocker, it becomes like a skyscraper size, so you can fight mechas. <laughs> so that's what I mean. You pick up the bunny thing, right? You have it for four hours in the game time, you get to heaven, heaven is like, oh, we can fix the bunny for you. It's supposed to be a Godzilla. And you're like, oh, it's like Godzilla now, right? And then the bunny turns into this guy, guy. It's like literally, it's like a skyscraper tall bunny that can fight the, you know, the Kadius for you, right? Basically, like the evil Kadius, yeah. So you get your own Kadius. You're like, I guess that's, I guess that works. And then the difference is that, of course, you have your own mechas, right? That you can, you know, equip right? different items and different weapons and so on. Uh, so, they, so, they, so your makers get stronger by, of course, buying stuff and, and that stuff, right? But the bunny is actually still a bunny. So that, that, that your, your card you get stronger by leveling, right? You can't level your mechas, so you can level your pilots, but the bunny is just a bunny. So you, you, you get stronger by, <laughs> by getting stronger, by leveling up. Uh, but anyway, I mean, like, you know, you get the puppy with you, and then the puppy levels up, right? You get the puppy and turns into a mecha or something. It becomes big as a, as a house, right? Whatever. Uh, in, um, very brief. But, yeah. I mean, I said it two episodes ago, I was definitely expecting to have a little bit of the ultimate wife in this anime, obviously Gislein. Uh, I mean, if you like another female character, that's fine, but you're wrong. <laughs> I mean, we all love the Gislein, but come on. I, I can imagine that someone is, favors another woman in this anime, but certainly Gislein, I think, is by far the most popular wife, right? Consensuously the best wife. Uh, but anyway, uh, I mean, I've been waiting for them to talk about her, right? Uh, of course, because they've been... They're obviously her part of her family. I uh, immediately said that the guy was going to be your brother. I was like, eh, it's probably her brother. I was like, come on, it's, uh, you, know, you know how it is. It's probably her brother, right? So I always expect that to happen. And it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's nice just building up a little bit of Ghislaine, right? Before she uh, triumphantly returns, I hope. If she's dead, I don't know what to do with the anime. I really doubt she's dead, though. She's supposed to be one of the strongest characters in the anime, right? Uh, and I... I compared her last week, and I think that's still a fair comparison to Jinbei in One Piece. You know, I have to do One Piece reference because I haven't read it yet. No, but I think she is similar to Jinbei. Uh, I said briefly here again then because the issue with Jinbei in One Piece was that when he wanted to join, kind of, when he first entered, uh, and I, I feel it's fair to talk about Jinbei because come on, it's like four episodes ago <laughs> in One Piece by now. When Jinbei first entered One Piece, around episode like four or five hundred, when he, we, we could guess he was kind of kind of join the Straw Hats. Uh, he was like very powerful. He was stronger than you know Zoro and uh, Sunny and so on. So they kind of had to like. I feel it's a little bit. Yeah, he was way too powerful when he was first introduced. When he was the, obviously still the best friend in Luffy, and they. I think Uda was like, I'm gonna put him, uh, you know, and let let him join later permanently right? because if he joined permanently immediately, he would have been like level thousand, and other ones are level hundred, and it would be kind of weird, right? So, um, I think that's. Uh, I think this lane fits in a similar way, where it's like she starts out in a very high level and then you know they remove her right uh, but if she returns immediately 
it's gonna be too easy to avenge her because it's like well she's so powerful that you know Ares doesn't have to fight anymore and so on kind of right so I think that's like a one way you could argue that's good that gets that well for master yeah so it has two different parts it's obviously a very Ares focused episode uh, I thought they were whining about the dog leaving, <laughs> the puppy leaving, but it, let's ignore that, yeah. So, it's a very airy focused episode, of course. It's, I think more of the actual review, not the first. It's like, come on, with my puppy? And I love that, right? Because we have seen it focusing on um, the growth of Rugius. Rugius going from a little less selfish, a little more of a heroic, brave character. And now it's obviously airy, airy. And for her, it's more about maybe she's always been kind of brave and i guess active and so on so for her it's a little bit more about uh, maybe compassion i guess you know another character growth episode right a little bit about her uh learning i guess social skills right a little more of um, how to interact with you know like kind of girl her own age and so on right? getting friends and so on uh so first of course, of course she's angry you know oh you insulted my master i love her you know i'm f i'm gonna kill you guys right then i was tossed right because into her befriending the calf girls, and then of course they get, you know, they get angry in the fight again, you know, typical Ares, right, it's always angry and fight people, right, and then of course she has to actually forgive them, right, so I think it's a really good episode, because it goes from Ares uh, with the classic, I'll say it, her, her anger issues, right, so yeah, she has to learn to, you know, be a little more uh, forgiving, I suppose. That is really cute, the first fight, because she's almost kind of like, yeah, this is a, you know, like I said, in my action part, it feels like this is the Ares' first real friend, right? If I don't look at Rudeus and Ghislaine and so on, etc., as her actual friends, because you know they both Ghislaine is like her mentor, role model, mother figure, master, everything, right? Uh, and obviously Rudeus is like her, I don't know, pervy cousin. <laughs> no, but you know he's like the he's like her friend, but also of course some kind of a teacher and so on, right? That this is her first real friend, right? I think it's a, it's a girl she meets on her journey, right? And befriends her, and so this first fight was really cute. It's her, you know, a way for Ares to communicate with girls, right? Yeah, by fighting them, and they have this playful fighting, and it was really nice to see uh, Ares growing into that. Yeah, and um, as I, I feel a lot, I said, I said on the reaction board, I feel it's very true that Ares probably fits more into this kind of culture, right? Because it's a very angry, very physical female character, right? Very like all over the place, kind of, kind of, you know, get it, yeah, you're gonna fight me and so on, right? So, I think it would fit her also more normally to, uh, you know, if she grew up in this village, she'd be probably be happy, right? And growing up in her home village where, you know, she got into five people, right? She kind of spent them around, yeah. This feels more like her actual place to be at, right? You know, angry cat girls that she she's fighting them, jumping around and so on, yeah. More of that, uh, you know, physical combative girls, right? Kind of fitting for Ares. So, yeah, it's a really cute episode. And because she's a little Disney, right? But it has to lead into this thing. It couldn't be French forever. It has to lead into this. She's like, I hate you! Well, you insulted this thing or right there. Whatever it's about. Uh, I, I I definitely felt watching the episode that, of course, it, it's gonna lead into a scene where, <laughs> where she. I'm, I'm kind of laughing again. It's kind of sad. But I've seen the episode now, though, so I'm like, yeah, you know, they, they, of course they re resolved it at the end, right? But it's like. Um, it is kind of funny though, it's like a tragic funny Ares thing. She she gets her first real two friends in life, right? And they're all like, oh my god, I love you girl, you're my best friend. And then, but it is Ares. Ares has to be like, you called my, my me fat or whatever, and I'm gonna kick your ass. You know, like it has to be that kind of scene where she snaps, right? It has to, that's Ares. Ares, she clearly loves this girl, they're like her best friend, right? Like her first friend, best friend. But we know what Ares is. She, she's gonna snap at her eventually and be like, oh, screw you, yeah. Or else she wouldn't be Ares, right? And she's like, oh, oh, I'm not so angry, you know. She has to turn into that, <laughs> that personality, right? Um, so that, that this scene was like the expected eventual scene. Uh, but the important thing, as I mentioned earlier, is, is the forgiveness, right? You know, uh, Ares learning how to... Ares learning social skills. She forgives her and gets the the, uh, the puppets, not the puppy, the puppet. Yeah, so it was a good episode generally. Uh, just like last episode was about Rudeus character developing. This is about Ares and character developing, right? Going from you know having no friends, getting friends, social reaction, uh, losing your friend, and then of course forgiving your friend, and then being friends again, right? So Ares, Ares kind of yeah, <laughs> she did she did the whole friend circle, <laughs> did the whole friend experience in, in one episode. 
Uh, but she's never a friend before, come on. So yeah, an adorable last scene, definitely. Uh, <laughs> funny, the last bit. So this bit was funny, but I, again, I genuinely felt like rude. I was like, uh huh, what, what, what happened? That's it? They kind of do this thing? And, uh, and also, no one collapsed, right? They obviously are trying to kill each other, but still, I mean, when you see this in anime, when you see these two sword people doing this thing, you expect one of them to be like, you know, ah, you know, and kind of collapsed at least, or something. But it was like, good game, yeah. They just turn around and it's like, I, don't know, I respect your sword skills. Very good training you have there, yeah. You slay taught me well. See you guys next week, yeah. I, like, I don't know. Um, I guess they were so both incredibly good. That when they clash, they could like compare their blocking or something, and but and, and we, the viewer and Rubius, uh, the character in the anime, couldn't see it because they were so fast or something, and they also didn't animate for that to happen. So we were like, oh, she lost off screen or something. Uh, it really reminded me of uh, the Touch of Sasuke battle, where they where they having the like Genjutsu mind battle, and all the cats are like. What's happening? Like, are they, what are they doing? Are they having a mind battle? Like, mind battle? They're standing still over there. Oh, they're having like a mind battle. Like, okay, <laughs> yeah. It felt like they had like a theory crap battle here. Like, he's like, I will cut you on the right, I will go to the left, and then they're like, I see, yeah, yeah. And, and I guess Aaron is like, I, I accept you better than me because you clearly would have gone uh, left, 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 and I went right, right, left, down, up, down. You would go like this, but yeah. I will go 6-6 six, six, and you will go 7-7, seven, seven. yeah, I see, I see what you're doing there, yeah, like they're having this, like, theory craft battle or something. Um, but, um, I guess it goes back to her character development, though, I suppose, right? That she's had earlier, too, of course, though, when it comes to especially fighting, that she has an easier time accepting losing, of course, I'm fighting, right? So she forgave her friend, and here... She was more happy losing and being like, oh, I have, to, I have, uh, I, I gotta train more, right? And I, I gotta achieve, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep training. Yeah, this guy is better than me, so I have to improve, right? Uh, where uh, since one Ares uh, would be like, screw you, you cheated, yeah. <laughs> the Ares, when she was, you know, introduced first, would be like, damn you, I'm stronger than you, you're not better than me. You know, that, that would have been Ares. Uh, but anyway, see you guys, and have a great day.